G'day guys. Win Retro, Serbian Kane here, and uh, this is a bit of a different Win Retro we got yeah, this time. Yeah, it's a bit of a different Win Retro. We've um, we've been toying around with an idea to do Retro Roadshow, which I'm sure some of you seen Antiques Roadshow. Antiques Roadshow is the one that we're, rip how do you say ripping off nicely? Um, homage. Uh, we're doing <laughs> an homage to uh, yeah, that's right. that's Antiques right. Roadshow, and uh, we're actually going to start off with the uh, collector here. He's yep. got something here he wants to show well, us. Well, I know I've had requests to bring this in uh, to show people because apparently, it's, well, it, not apparently, it's a pretty rare game. Um, so basically, this is uh, Earthbound for the SNES. Um, and everyone was always asking me how I got it, where I got it, and will I give it away? And the answer is no, no first of but, all. But how did you come across this one? Um, basically, like know. yeah, if you don't know, it's a very popular RPG on the SNES uh, that was only released in the US, uh, the English version of. Yep, and, and basically. find it? Yeah, good luck finding it. It's, uh, it costs quite a bit of money. I picked it up for $400. <laughs> um, it's going Where did you find it? eBay. eBay is your friend, basically, and uh, enemy to your wallet. So be careful. Be careful about that. Um, but basically, um, yeah, it, it, comes with a, it comes with a book and... Yeah, now why don't you show the people what you got right, in there? No worries. It comes with... Oh, hello. <laughs> it comes with a collector book. So um, yeah, this is this is like a hint guide as well, um, and you've you've got a basically cartridge in there as well, which I won't bother taking out. Um, but yeah, it, the problem is it won't play on a regular SNES because I've got a lot of people um, wanting to buy it and uh, asking me what cartridge so you, yeah, will work. So the thing cost you four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. And I to play it, ha what did you just have to buy? Okay, I had to. I had a converter cartridge. It didn't work. So I bought another converter cartridge to play from NTSC to PAL. And that didn't work? That didn't work. So then I had to buy a US imported SNES. <laughs> so all up it cost me about $550. And I have to say it's worth it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it, it's, it's basically one of those pieces that go up in value. But um, yeah, some people wanted to see it. Um, and so I just brought it in. And like, we're not the only people here with some bits. We've also got some uh, fans of the show out there. They've got yes, a few bits and pieces. So I'll, uh, I'll grab... One of our friends, and we'll see what he's got yeah, for us today. Yeah, beautiful. So anyone that's brought anything today, just we'll come on up this, and we'll have a look at what you have. This young man here. Now, how, are you sure? You, are you still in school? <laughs> yes, I certainly am. And where do you go to school so uh, the kids don't go there? Retro school. <laughs> uh, retro school. Now, do you need a hand with that? That's a pretty big collection you got. Uh, come, and, come and show us. Let's see what you got there. Wow. <laughs> now, uh, your name? Uh, Paul. And what have you got for us here today? Um, here today I've got a CD TV. A CD TV yep. Com by Commodore? Commodore, which right. is, the true meaning is Commodore Dynamic Total Vision. Wow. <laughs> I know a lot of things about it. I did not know that, yeah. Um, and when did you get this? Um, I picked up this probably back in the late 90s. Yeah. Um, it was sort of all a package deal I got off someone. Yeah. Right, Leave it there. We'll yeah. We'll get you around. Let, let the people, people see you. All right. <laughs> well, so what is oh, it? It looks go. like a CD player. Yep. DVD yep. player. It's got a keyboard. So take us through it. What, what, yep. what is it? All right. Um, well, Commodore brought this out and it was really promoted in the hi-fi section. They paid someone a lot of money to find the right way to, to sell it. And so most people don't know that it, there's actually a Amiga 500 that's inside this. And it was really the first multimedia system that ever came out back in 1991, released in March 1991 at the Las Vegas um, yeah, consumer market. So that was quite interesting. Nice, how did you come about it? Um, I knew someone who, who had it it was really all about the right price at the time because it was something I knew from being starting with Commodore 64, going through to Amigas and things, and it's sort of like the um, holy grail of <laughs> Amiga stuff. <laughs> it is. Really. Um, I've actually, like, yeah, you probably have never seen or heard of this before. I've actually been looking out for one for about 10 years. I still haven't come across it. The last one, do you know how much these go for now? Um... Well, it can be 500 plus, depending on condition, depending really what you have, have with it. Um, and there's also other things like internal genlocks and yeah, 
extra memory and things like that, different cards that you can um, Yeah, very good. Well. No, so you know, you know, he knows his uh, prices. I was going off at $20. Now, now the kids but here might, might like it as a, as a thing, but can you play games on it? That's the important thing. Well, that's, it was really brought out as multimedia, entertainment, console, CD player. So it's really got many facets mm. to this um, system. And even it's got MIDI ports <laughs> built wow. in, which <laughs> no other Commodore machine has. So it's quite amazing. Do you know what MIDI stands for? Do you know what MIDI, MIDI stands for? I do. Oh, nice. You want to go for the yeah. bonus points? Well, MIDI is really a universal standard which all different MIDI things and instruments can actually plug in and well, play straight away. I did, yeah, I, yeah, I did not know that even this came with MIDI ports. So <laughs> yeah. Now, um, you said they go for a lot. What did you actually pay for this? How long ago did you pay it? Um, well, it's probably about 13 years or so now. I probably paid around 100 to 200. Wow. Can Makes you give that rates to you now? price, yeah. If I give you $200 now, will you give it to us? Uh, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> how, much, how much would you be looking at if you had to buy one today? Well, if you wanted to sell it yourself, what well would, if what would be I want to sell it, because sometimes it's hard to get the remotes and things like that with it. You've got, as well, the mouse, the trackball, and all the extra things. The keyboard, which is hard to find. So if you were actually going to buy individually like CDTV, keyboard, bits and pieces, you're up for quite a lot anyway. So really, yeah. it's better if you can try to get it in one sort of big group and, and with games as well because you're still paying a certain amount for some okay. games are rarer than others yeah. and in better condition. Just one thing. This game called Defender of the Crown. I think it's available on the iPhone. iPhone, yep. You can get it there. Check it out. It's, yeah, it's very addictive if you like yeah. your strategy uh, gameplay. You said it's an Amiga 500 in a nice shell but uh, so you can play CD TV games. You can also play the Amiga games on it as well. Uh, yep. It's even got a floppy drive, a parallel port to put a floppy drive so you can actually play a lot of Amiga 500 games in it, but the thing is, at, at present, this has chip RAM. So one meg of chip RAM instead of fast RAM, which you can add fast RAM to. So that means there's only certain games that are going to work because obviously it doesn't have the fast RAM. Well, you know You'd what? I'm it's more for you know what I'm interested in um, the actual seat because it plays them on CD. Um, show us what the CD is well, like. Well, it's it's quite this special. It's quite unique in some regard because it has a caddy, which not many, I mean, there's, I don't think there's any other console. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen it, yeah. entertainment system, multimedia si system that actually has that. So that was really made. So you just put the CD in there and then you just sort of, you know, slide that in and it'll just read it straight away. But there's a setting as well. There's two settings, which there's a CD TV setting that it comes on CD TV and then you can put that in. You flick a switch and it's 1.3, like the workbench for the standard Mega 500 that's on there as well. So then you can do floppy wow. games or you can do... So a true normal. multimedia, yeah. Now, I, yeah. I love the nice. caddy thing because, yeah, you scratch discs, that's yep. going to protect it. So that's yeah, nice I've, got, I've got discs I bought, uh, CDs I bought like last year that are in worse condition than this. <laughs> <laughs> so Maybe it's a, yeah, we should have kept up with that idea. There. No, I, I think it's great. But uh, has anybody else got some things to show us? Ooh. We Ooh. might get to you in a second, but let's let's go over here. We'll see, we'll see our, our no. young friend on the right here. Now, what do you got for us here? Oh, he's got a box. Please come up. And who have we got for us today? Uh, Ned. How you doing, mate? Now, well, uh, just while we move this across, you've got a box here. Is that? Do we have anything, or are you being huffing paint on the way here? Uh, no, actually, I have accessories for retro consoles. Now, these things are hard to find in the, these days. You know, everyone breaks their cons uh, the controls when they get angry. Come around and let's see what you got for us in here. So. Uh, well, Ooh, at box the top, of we have a Nintendo controller for That's the, NES, yeah. the NES, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he's got a whole box of goodies that I love to go through and doesn't uh, even know yeah. what it is. I love that. <laughs> um, what else you got in here for us? Uh, what else? We got another NES controller. Yeah. Nice. Now, none of the buttons stick on these ones if you clean them up or are you... Um, I gave them a quick wipe over, but there is still some <laughs> dust on the edges. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's so, a if you don't play with these joysticks. Yeah, there you <laughs> 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 That's, uh, I think, the Epic's joystick. 
um, which was actually pretty cool because uh, if you guys wanted to check out these sports games, uh, a lot of like Activision's uh, Decathlon and other summer games, winter game stuff, uh, basically to run along you had to really go left and right on a joystick. So you'd either break the joystick if it was, a, if it was made out of plastic or um, you'd basically break your biceps. So there was a little cheat where you just <laughs> hold it like that and flick this so one up and down. you do that movement too good. Don't, don't show the kids. <laughs> Yeah, it's fantastic. I haven't seen this in years. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? Sweet. Nope. <laughs> wow. Now, I lost a little bits and pieces that you always lose, and I think uh, you can make a few I bucks. So. A, lot, a lot of people find their old machines, but they don't have all the bits. Oh, so. wow. Has anyone, uh, anyone know what this is? <sighs> <laughs> Thank you, Atari 26. Uh, that, that's the classic, I think. Uh, uh, one of the best things about this, um, like in a, we've got a few of these in a weird and retro area. And what I love the most about this is people ask how you turn that invert off, and I just <laughs> tell them to basically spin it around the right way. <laughs> so yes. One stick and one button, that's all yeah, you need to play it. games. Uh, yeah. Um, I what else? We got? Oh. Uh, wow, that's where our friend Paul. Yeah. Yeah, Commodore, uh, like Commodore 64. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I used to play Flight Unlimited 2 with that. Wow. Uh, yeah. If we can persuade him, we still can. <laughs> Wow. Uh, and there's some games in there. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. All right, we'll get to yeah, that. Yeah, we'll get to that. Um, yep. uh, like yeah, this one. Another joystick. Yep. That, that was a great thing. In the old days, all the, yep. all the joysticks had the same connector, so you could... Well, uh, most of them. You could, you could swap these between the Ataris, the Commodores, the Seegers, but, of course, Nintendo went their own uh, way, so... Now, I, I don't even know what that is. Do you know what that's from? Uh, no, I don't. It's oh, my God. I think I know what... Can we get a picture? It's not yeah. in the best condition, but... That, that. I think I've seen it on some uh, CSI things. <laughs> <if you wanna. laughs> it's yeah. disconnected. There's no batteries or timer clock on that, so that looks good. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was in the same collection. I don't, know what you, well, I don't know what this is except for a detonating device. This is a okay. Honeybee controller. Honeybee control pad. This yeah. is, I believe, the master system. It definitely looks like it. Yeah, Honeybee were the mad cats of the day. So some of it will be good. And some will be really <laughs> terrible, but you, you take your chances and, uh, yeah, you see how you go. Yeah. yeah. All right, now we get to the um, games or yeah, something. What, what have we got here? Uh, we've got General Chaos. General yeah. Chaos. Now that's, like I said, that's an EA cartridge. You yep. can tell, you know, they didn't want to pay Sega their money, so they uh, made their own cartridges and... Battery backup. Oh, does it? Battery backup, yeah. What that's else what you got in there for us? Uh, now we're getting to some of the Nintendo games. There's always NES fans, yeah. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we've got, uh, we got things like gr Rad Gravity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rad Gravity. I'll let you know. Yeah, you can have that. Rad uh, Gravity. Tennis. Tennis. Hang on, have you seen all these yet? Uh, I've tried two of them. Okay, no, yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Time Lord. Yeah, Time Lord. Yep, that's uh, a pretty good one. Wrecking Crew and Kung Fu. Wrecking Crew. Is that the new movie? The I new think Disney so. Movie? Does anyone uh, know? Is that Wrecking Crew? <laughs> no, yeah, Wrecking Ralph, that's right. <laughs> and uh, Kung Fu. Kung Fu, oh, that's a classic. That brings back memories. We used to get bruised up trying to imitate this game, so I would, don't <laughs> try that at home. Just yeah. Don't try it at home, kids. Now, yeah, you got some power supplies for a, a Super Nintendo, a few oh, little wow. cables and stuff, so... Yeah. I think like I need this. This is another Mega Drive. Uh, oh, no, Nintendo, nice. That's the Nintendo I need one. that even more. But, uh, like I said, some nice bits in there. Like I said, everyone loses their controllers, everyone loses their bits, so hold on to them. Nice. Put them on eBay and no, that's, a, that's, a, and that's all, all freebies, wasn't it? Uh, yes, I uh, was cleaning out my nan's house one time and came with a collection. See how important it is to visit your grandparents? You <laughs> never just go through the closets, the garages, your attics. Now never know what you like might said, find. I'll, I'll, we'll go find some other friends that we'll see what they got. Put them on the table nice. and we'll see. So what have you got for us? No, no, this gentleman here was... You, you got something for us? Let's see what you got. Ah, uh, the old brick. Let's come up here and tell us all about it. And who we got for us? I'm um, Davin. All right, let's show the camera what you've got, and uh, away we go. Now, what game you got in there at the moment? Because this, yeah, this is the classic uh, Game Boy, four batteries. Super Mario Land. Have you played this game? Yes, yeah. of course. Can you tell us about that? Um, what can I say about? Yep, yeah, tell us about where did you find this? Did you have this when you were young? Or is this, is this something is you found recently? Down? Or? Um, I bought it 10 years ago or so wow. at a garage sale. For five dollars. Five dollars. That's a bargain. And, and I got half. four other games with it too. Oh, nice. 
Now, is there anything there that we haven't seen? We've got... Oh, they've got the little plastic cases there. Get Ooh, harder nice, and harder to nice. find. Um, they're just... Yep, five, five games, games in one. Pokemon. Everyone's got... Game, yep. Oh, trading card game. Sorry, what's my, my, my bad. Mario and Yoshi. And what's the next... Gargoyles. I keep seeing this around in cash converters. Maybe I picked it up. <laughs> is there a reason you see it in cash converters or is it a good game? Uh, it's not a game. It's, it's all right. So, yeah. the green, see, I'm not, I, I missed out on the Nintendo generation. And I was sort of, uh, I'm sort of upset at it because this killed the m far better and superior Atari Lynx <laughs> color, color system. But the bit, I, I still, I've got, I've got them all now, but I'm still to get Tetris. I still have, I need it. I know, I know. And that's like the game that killed all the other handhelds. So um, the problem is everyone I know with the Tetris for the Game Boy, they don't want to get rid of it. So. And I want to find one in the wild. They don't want to go to eBay for that. So, no, that's cool. Do you, do you use it um, much or? Um, every now and again. I used it a lot more when I was little. Okay, yeah. Is it still working all right? Yeah, it works fine. Nice, because it's, it's, you got to you say 10 years ago, it's in, it's in really good nick. It's like the screen's oh. all right. I mean, from the, it's not powered on at the moment, but yeah, it's got, it's all, all, even the serial numbers there. That's, uh, <laughs> that's actually not bad. That's not bad. Do you, do you have any game you play on most or? Um, um, wait, what was the question? Well, uh, do you play one in game in particular on it um, more than the others? Usually just Mario. Mario. Or I knew that, I yeah. knew that was coming. Yeah. Mario. Did you know you could link up multiple Game Boys? No, I didn't. Yes. Uh, we're trying to get that together for the next uh, CGBC. Uh, so Kano and myself are looking out for all uh, linkable multiplayer games for the Game Boy. Um, and one of which is reported to support up to 16 Game Boys. And I don't want to tell you the name because I'm hunting all those 16 copies, so I don't need any competition. But we're hoping to have that at uh, CGBC next year. What year are you in? Will you be able to bring this one for us next year? Yes, I'm in year 11. Okay, so you got one more year. Beautiful, yes. beautiful. Hope to see you. Uh, do you mind if we put it down there? Oh, you can yeah. take it with you if you like. Oh, but yeah, done, yeah. Cheers. So thank you for showing us that. Yeah, there's, like I said, everyone's got a little bit. Of thank you very much. We'll get one of our friends from over here for one, just for quickly, and we'll come back to the kids. Now, who right, have we we'll got do here? We'll do swapsies. <laughs> come on, come on out. Let's see. Yeah. Pedro. Pedro, Pedro. And again, are you still at school? Yes. Uh, Sacred Heart College, year 12. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And what do you got for us? Looks like you got us a box of chocolates or something, is it? Oh, I'm, I am a bit peckish. Just a very unique item for those Nintendo fans. Nice. I, actually, I haven't seen a box like that before. Okay. It's not chocolates, so let us see what's in it there. All right, it's to do with Nintendo for all, all you fanboys out there. There's a lot of Nintendo fans. All right. Oh. No world championship. Something else. Wow. Yes. If any of you can tell me what this symbol is. <laughs> Sorry, I'll just... Ridge. Just it's one sec. Close. Um, didn't they release, like, a couple of cartridges for Famicom? It was, like, basically the mascot. It is the Famicom na uh, mascot. Not bad. That's bonus points. His actual name is uh, Discun. Is from the Famicom itself. It was the icon for the Famicom Disk system. It was the promotional mascot for uh, Famicom Disk. And what it was, this is an actual Game & Watch that you cannot buy. It was a, comp a competition run back in 1987 for the Formula One Grand Prix in Japan. It was a competition wow. for Nintendo only. You could not buy it, and uh, yeah, it's quite unique. So do you know how many are uh, reported to actually, no, I mean, not exist today, but when it came out, how many, how many were released? The competition given? ran. There was uh, 10,000 units, but every unit was, igni uh, was unique. We all used the same case, but inside made the difference to what prize you were actually going to get. Now, the nice. actual prize that I have... Nice. Let's, let's, let's have a look. Wow, that is mint. That is, that is mint. This is actually brand new from 1987. Wow. Have you, uh, have you actually ever played it? or I still haven't played it. <laughs> I, just something about putting the batteries in and making it used that I just, I appreciate it for what it is and I still couldn't play it. Wow. What, what game is it? Some, some people yep. out there might be, not be able to see what it is. Some it? people are holding their heads. Well, it, and <laughs> it actually is a unique Super Mario uh, game made just for this system itself, for the competition. You won't find it anywhere else. 
Well, okay, okay. Now, now you did you go to Japan in 1987, or how did you find this one? <laughs> no, I was too young to be back then, uh, back in 1987. But no, I acquired this probably about four years ago, five years ago. And uh, how did you come across this? Like, it, it, did you? I'm guessing it's not in the wild. You didn't stumble across it in like a cash converters, because nah. because aside from being a video game collector, I'm also a Nintendo collector, and uh, I found this uh, through the auctions, which is eBay. Oh, eBay. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you want to tell us how much? Do you remember how much? Yes. I think a, pri I think a prize like this you would definitely remember. Even if you got dementia, you'd remember how much you'd paid for this. Ooh, taking it out. So we'll pull it out. Whoa. Just show you the case. So wow. Now, I paid $1,000 for this <laughs> one. And you may say, oh, it's ridiculous to pay such a large amount. 1000 Especially for a collector. But I'll explain why in a sec. Yeah, go for it. All right. This, this system here, you cannot get. There was 10,000 units. Now, through 1987 till now, they usually get damaged, played with, lost. And the other prizes that you got with the same uh, case was a stationary set or a gold game cartridge for the Famicom. Yeah. But the Game & Watch itself was the most unique and rarest item you could get for that uh, Nintendo competition back in 1987. Wow, and uh, okay, so you paid a thousand. Um, what's the going price now? All right. And have you been, you, did you get any offers or people want to buy it yeah. off you? And All tell right. us about that. The system itself, if you ever come across it online, just finding it like this will cost you about $600. Now, finding the system with its original case, you're looking at about $1,500. If you find the system brand new with the game, the case, the gift box from Nintendo, and the written letter, <laughs> uh, the written letter of uh, congratulations for 1987 winning the Nintendo prize at the Formula One Grand Prix in Japan. You're looking at about two to five thousand dollars. I've been offered five thousand dollars for the unit itself, but you'll probably find it for at least four to five thousand if you can come across a brand new one, unused, <laughs> with the gift certificate and the gift box. Wow. As anybody, so, oh, so you, you turned it down. What sort of price would you take, like from friends like or, us? Or would you take a price? <laughs> I've been offered five thousand for it, but you could offer me ten thousand. I still wouldn't sell it. Wow, <laughs> wow. I c do you mind if I pick this up? Just yeah. yeah. Do you mind if I, I take it home? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I cannot tell you just how. In what good condition this is? Like mint. This is a box that's housed this for so many years. Yeah. There's not, years there's old, not yeah. a scratch on it. There's no marks on it. There's no sticker. That's you know, bloody there's, nice. There's nothing. It is very nice. Yeah. Thanks for bringing this. And Pedro, us Pedro, thank you very much. Yeah, so I, I think uh, like we've we got questions. There, make sure we... Hey, we've sure got we some questions. Do you want to get? Do you want to take some... Yeah. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, just a sec. Make the microphone, make the microphone. Well, uh, did you actually win it or did you buy it? From no, the online. I, I bought it through the auctions. I, I couldn't win it back in 1987. I didn't even know it existed. But being a collector for the past 16 years, predominantly the last eight years, and focusing on Nintendo as well, yeah, I hunt this, this item down. It took me, took me probably five years to find it first. I've only ever seen seven online. It's very hard to come by. Wow. Well, there is more to it, as my friends from Weird and Retro will tell you at some point. But yeah, first support Weird and Retro, and I'll let you know more. There you go. Thank you very yeah. much. Also, Thank just to say, Pedro is, uh, we've seen a glimpse. Uh, we were invited because he was a fan of Weird and Retro, and he invited us to the uh, to his house. And it's not. First of all, he doesn't store things in his house no, so because of the large address. insurance claim. So you don't worry about finding his address. You, you won't be there. We, uh, uh, we, if we get him up later on, he'll show us some more of his, his collection. He's but, got uh, some more, yeah. We'll see yeah. how we go. Uh, we, saw, um, we saw a small bit of it and we fell in love. Uh, he, but Pedro's got stuff, uh, Nintendo stuff in particular, isn't it? That who doesn't have? Nintendo Museum. Oh, um, I've got some unique items from Nintendo back from their earlier days before they got into video games. And Nintendo Museum don't have some of the stuff that I still have. <laughs> so, and just the uniqueness of it, everything is still almost brand new in its box from the 60s. 70s and 80s. Now we, we saw some of his consoles and you go, this thing's 30 years old, why does it still have that new smell? Yeah, he's really got things that, yeah. I mean, he's things from the 70s in consoles and yeah. boxes, the boxes of the consoles look better 
than yeah, and the shinier Xbox than the buy, Xbox yeah. you go in like uh, your stores today. Yeah. So yeah, it's. Thanks a lot for yeah. showing that. Uh, we'll I else. suggest you don't leave that here. Just uh, <laughs> I reckon you take your one back. That sounds good. <laughs> so and just what you got just for to us? mention oh. as well, Pedro's we'll go got. Here first, you'll be next. Uh, Pedro's Please got. Go. Sorry, just a sec. Pedro's actually got. Um, a, he's a part of his collection. Uh, where is it? All right, I'm currently associated with Acme in Federation Square for the Game Masters exhibition. I have a quite a unique selection of my items on display there. If you ever have the time to go across it, you can see some of my collection. It's a big wall with a three-tier shelf and the whole left-hand side of the oldest uh, uh, consoles, handhelds and accessories are all mine. Thanks. Thank you very much, Pedro. You, you're a legend for bringing it in. Thank Cheers. You. We've seen you before, but let's uh, introduce you to the rest of us. All right, so maybe what I've brought here is absolutely nothing compared to that. <laughs> All right, sorry, sorry. No, is it a game in watch? Nice you still got some nice bits. Yeah, he's following oh. Pedro. Okay, just sit down. You can't follow that. Just sit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, let's, let's see your game watches. Let's go. Um, I've just got here two game and watches. Oh, he's got the wife's ring. I've, nice. uh, I've got an original octopus, which my dad had. He gave it to me. And I've got a Club Nintendo re release of Game and Watch Ball. Oh, no, can I have a look at that? Yes, you can. That's nice. Yep. You said this one was from your dad. How did you come across the other, the other one? The Game & Watch, I heard about it through the Japanese Club Nintendo Rewards and then just decided to eBay it. No problem. And how nice. much did that one set you back? Uh, about 100 bucks. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah. Which, which one was that? The, um, the ball. Yeah, because yeah, I actually <laughs> haven't seen this one before. Yeah, it's, 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 got the, it's got the Club Nintendo. Yeah, no, that's like, I actually like that. Yeah, like and you said insignia. you had some other bits and pieces for us? Because like I said, they're nice Game & Watches, but... Like I said, coming after Pedro might be a little bit of a... I know, we, we should have... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's got a bag full of stuff. I'm scared of what he's oh, going to nice. bring out. But, uh, well, you may have seen it before, but I've got... Oh, the frame is not too secure. But yeah, this is the old grey brick. So uh, we saw the green one before. And, and this is the original. Uh, older brother, yeah. Uh, we'll fix that up later. But. And what game nice. you got in there? Um, Tetris. Oh. <laughs> the one that's eluding me. Yes, and the best one. Would you say that is the best one? Obvi on the, yeah. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, no one wants to sell me one. So the screen is in great condition as well. That is very nice condition, actually. Did you? When? Oh, okay. This is the other thing to watch out for. A lot of them, um, like a lot for a lot of collectors, they want the uh, serial numbers and stuff. But that's more important for the uh, game and watches. Mm -hmm. It'll it'll drastically reduce the price if it's scratching. So that's that's pretty good condition. Let's that's reach back good. in. He's got a few more bits and pieces in there. Let's see what's coming out next. Oh, I, I just saw a... Was that an old-school GBA? Actually, while we're on a Game & Watch, do you, like, do you collect Game & Watches, or uh, do you really like them? Or? I, don't I really like them, but I don't collect them yet. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I'll start tracking them down when I, have, when I actually have employment. Or, yeah, or <laughs> when you win the lottery. Have you seen the prices? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are... If you see particularly the uh, jewel screens, um, you guys seen the jewel screen uh, Game & Watches? Yeah, they Donkey can set Kong. you back a bit. Yeah. Do you only want... Yeah, Donkey Kong, which I still can't find. Actually, I think I gave one to Paul... Years ago, my Donkey Kong watch, yeah. Game & Watch. Um, but one that I bought was Greenhouse. Uh, and I got that in a... Uh, actually, I should have brought it here. I didn't know people were going to bring this. But I got that boxed with the styrofoam, with the instructions. Everything's intact and I picked it up for a bargain. The guy that I wanted off eBay, uh, he almost cried when I handed him over the money. And I couldn't help but laugh in his face. I mean, I felt sorry for him, but, you know, that was, that was great. Oh, he's got the stand. <laughs> yes. And what else you got for us? Uh, here uh, it is. Next, I've also got the Game Boy Pocket. Right. But that just stands. It's yep. Is I it safe to say you're a Nintendo fan? Yes. Okay. Um, I still do not have an NES or an SNES, but I'm working on those. Okay. Fast. I noticed Earthbound over there. And I'm Earthbound, yeah. Just keep noticing am, it from a distance. And uh, I'm extremely jealous. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, actually, that's... Yeah, like I said, everyone wants to get it off me, but... Yeah. If you find it like cheap, if you have the money, because everyone's like I said, I brought it in because everyone's talking about Earthbound. If you see, if you have the money and you really want it and you see it for a good price, chances are, you know, like it'll go up. A, like I've, in one one and a half years, it, it almost doubled in price of what I paid. So it's gone up since it's gone up drastically since first release. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah it, it, every time he went. Oh. he's got a few more bits and pieces. He's just bringing them out of everything. Hey, is it a Nintendo? Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah. It's a uh, gold and silver special edition Game Boy Color. Nice. That one's been used a lot. Had some love with that. <laughs> yes. It's Which one do you use the most out of um, all these? The Game Boy Color, mainly for the screen. Uh, I don't want to damage my Game Boy. 
Yeah. I don't know if anything will happen to it, but it also yeah. does blur a little, so it's kind of difficult in the eyes. Right, right. Um, and he, he's reaching in. He's still not done yet, well, guys. Oh, magic pockets. Look, look. I think it's still like there is magic bags. Nice. It just keeps going and going. There's something in there with a light on. I don't know what it. But while he's doing that, let's have a look at this one. Uh, I just love the screen. I, I, I'm just um, stunned that it's still got the little stand. Oh, well, like I said, that's that's an heirloom from Dad, so wow. can't break it. Dad, Dad'd get angry. It, did did you? Re is this on loan or is this yours now? Um, that's mine. He's officially given it to me. Okay, he did. Okay, yeah. nice. Um, next, up I've, next up, I've just got the Game Boy Advance. Wow, so you pretty much got it like from. Beginning to end. Game Boy, Game & Watch, Game Boy Color. Yeah, he's doing it in order. He's doing it in order. Advanced, right. SP. <laughs> That's the Game Boy Advance <laughs> SP. It's not the backlit version. Yep. I still need to track one of those down. The only one I've ever seen is the one that I own. So The only one I've ever seen is, is Kane's. <laughs> so, yeah, the one, the one Kane owns. So, good uh, luck. Yeah, no, I've, got a okay. I've got a spare one, so I can sell that if I want. <laughs> and next up, I've also got the Game Boy Micro. Nice. Now that had a nice little screen on it. What, what game's in there at the moment, or is that a... Nice. <laughs> See, they're all in pretty good condition. No, oh, very good. Yeah, um, I would have had my DS collection, but I forgot my regular at home. <laughs> and um, do, you, do you collect games for all of them, or some of them, um, or is there one you use the most? He's reaching in again. Reaching so. in again. I <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow. I'm seeing a lot of Pokemon down here. Crystal. There's wow. There's okay. <gasps> Pokemon Pinball. I think there's GBA every Pokemon games. game that's been released. Well, I do collect the Pokemon games. So, Squirtle looks like a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> I also have here the Japanese red, green, and blue. Oh, okay. They're in cases because I don't now, can, can you nice. actually play those, or are they just uh, for collection? Uh, you can play them, and I'm I. Up to the rocket hideout in green. So that's that's going all right. <laughs> uh, nice little bits. Nice. Like I said, there's a few more coming. Thank you very much. Uh, is that yours? No. Is yeah. that on loan? Well, is this what you were screaming out last year? Is it Battletoads? <laughs> I believe it is. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You know what? Um, I was actually on a lookout. You know how you requested that last year? Uh, I was actually on a lookout, and I, I was trying to find it. I still, I mean, not off eBay, but in the stores, and they still sell for a lot, a lot, especially the uh, SNES version. <laughs> and next up, I've just got. Oh, I haven't got his order. Nope. Wow. Again, he's doing it in order. He's. I've got gold, silver, and crystal, as well as a Japanese copy of crystal for the mobile GB tower. I don't have a mobile all phone right. adapter. He's, he's got, he's got, he's, all right, you've got a lot of Nintendo. Yeah. All right, I think we'll, I'll think we'll get moving, get someone else to go before we are, uh, before. I, I got Pinball, oh, pin CCG, um, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald was in the game. How many, have you got any, po uh, are you missing any Pokemon games on these systems? Uh... Or have you got pretty much all of them? I've got pretty much all of them, yes. <laughs> nice, not bad. I've got Fire Red and Leaf Green in here, Emerald somewhere to be found. Inside there I've got Diamond Pearl, Platinum, Black and White, as well as Heart Gold and Soul Silver. And I also got <laughs> Green Wii's as well. What Just have you got? Pokemon Stadium Pokemon 1 and 2. Wow, uh, look at that. There's, are there's you Pokemon love in here. Okay. Speak? Um, on the subject of Poke Walker 1. Well, <laughs> I might have to roll him. There is one more, actually. You want this one here? No, no, I, want, I have one. Oh. Oh. I also have the, the Pokemon Pikachu for gold and silver. Nice. Well, went through the wash a few times. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> no, it still works, Kane? <laughs> yes. Uh, someone stole it. Ah. Was it him? <laughs> Pikachu we'll is very discontent with we'll me. We'll repossess. <laughs> no, it's actually, I, I've got a lot. Like, as you probably know, I've got a lot. I've got... A lot of games, as uh, we always be cycling through Ridden Retro, but I've, I've never actually played a Pokemon game. Um, is there any recommendations for which one to go for, or they're all pretty much the same? They're all the same, but that's what everyone loves about What them. should I start on, Kane? Black 2. Black 2. On what system? Uh, Dear. Oh, well, we'll, ask, we'll ask Mr. Pokemon. If you're willing to start from the beginning... Yes, I am. Um, maybe start from the first games, but if you want to start from the recent ones... No, no. Let's go Retro. 
Retro, definitely red or blue. Yellow. Red or yellow? No. Yellow. yellow. Play yellow afterwards if you want. <laughs> <laughs> it Sorry, follows, I, he's it got all of them. I, I'm going to go for it's his It's more voice. anime based rather than actual okay. game based. So. Nice. All right. Well, look, thank you very much, uh, Christos, for bringing that in. Right. Yeah, a bit of an applause. Yeah, that's 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 a uh, uh, hang on. That's a nice collection. Are uh, you were next? Yes, I forgot. Sorry, let's get you up. Who we got? Very nice. Uh, Dennis. Oh, we're, and just wait for them to clear that off. We'll see what you got for us. In uh, is in. Oh, I'll, I'll is let you. Uh, get, I, I don't even want to touch that. So. I'm just. Uh, all right. Well, my name's Dennis, and uh, I'm going to do this one at a time. Uh, Sorry, I'm a big Nintendo 64 fan, so uh, I bought four games, and I'm going to do it one at a time. We'll, we'll see. If they're, if they're good, you can do it one at a time. If they're not, we'll get you to keep moving. <laughs> my favourites, Super Smash Brothers. Nice. There's always love for the Super Smash, isn't it? Is, is this the only copy of Super Smash you got, or have you got the other ones as well? I got Brawl. I, I'm just missing out on Melee. What's that there between after the Wii games? And oh. Is that chips? Can we have some? <laughs> Give us some chips. <laughs> Captain Falcon's trademark game. F zero X. Oh, nice. That's not bad. So we got. We'll, so keep, we'll let him keep going. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like I said, yeah. get him oh, all okay, out. Okay. So far, that, that's good. Yeah, uh, that's very good. We're very. What else you got? We're very happy. Uh, Mario Party. It's next on. Very first. Mario Party. Did you wear right. a hole in your hand when you played that? Uh, yes. Hang on, just a minute. He's got a phone call. People. He's got bids for these already. So. Hey, what's going on? Sorry. He's <laughs> making a bid. Is it eBay? Hello. Oh, okay. Let's maybe uh, I'll go through his uh, bag. I'm going to see what he's got in there. Let's he's on. Oh, see. He's on I'll be back in a moment. He'll be. Let's go to commercial. Let's go to commercial. We'll be back in in. Oh, <laughs> last Gold one. Cart. It's not better than Ocarina, but it's the second best. Majora's Mask. Gold cart. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you got a few. There's a bit of a versus verbal versus match. Yes. Yeah, no. That's not, so, what's your favourite uh, Nintendo system? Uh, my favourite, 64. 64, yeah, hands down? Hands down. Number one game on it for you. Number... Oh, that's going to be hard. Smash Brothers. That's the one you play the most? Yes. Nice, thank you and very Gold much. And GoldenEye next. Gold <laughs> nice, Jesus, thanks very much for bringing no, those nice in. Nice little pieces there, like I said. I, I think it's good for collectors and also good for playing as well. So. Well, Cri Christos is still going with... Uh... <laughs> He's got so much stuff there. We, uh, we've already done a person. Let's see when you... His one's a bit longer, so you're up. Yeah. Okay. For the people no that don't know, who do we have with us? Hi, I'm Jesse. And what have you got for us today? Um, well, some of the stuff I'm brought today because I don't want to damage them because I've got no bag. But I've managed to bring this today and box. Now it's not exactly retro, but um, it's a 3DS. But it's not just any 3DS. It's one of the limited edition peach pink ones. Yep. Did so you win this or I did win this. Okay. Oh. I know That's there was nice. a I haven't seen this on. one before, so... Yep. Yes, um, there was a contest Nintendo held. There's, um, I think it was 500 um, of each. There's three versions, a Toad, a Mario, and a Peach. 500 were given out in Japan of each kind. 50 were given out in Australia. About 100 to 50 were given out in Europe. And um, so on. Um, so I managed to win Peach Pink, which was quite fortunate, since my blue one broke a week before. Wow, nice. <laughs> Call it a bit of calm, but... Um, That's brilliant. Do you use it? Yes, I do use it. I d I'm a collector, but I don't want to like keep things boxed, so nice. I buy yep. them to for the nostalgia. Sorry, can you repeat that again? Um, I want Kano to listen up very closely. <laughs> <laughs> I collect games, but I do want to play them, so I do yeah. unbox them and I do. Yeah, like like, like yeah. myself. Kano likes no, the. Uh, I used to buy two copies, one to play and one yeah. to. I thought Kano yeah. was bad until uh, we met Pedro. <laughs> Pedro buys three ver three of each, so one to play, one to store, one um, to back up. Yeah, well, I've seen these go for almost a thousand. Slash over on the internet, full box and everything. Nice. Um, I did have another collection of like rare stuff I've managed to collect over the years, but I didn't want to bring in as I mentioned. Um, I managed to find the collector's edition of Ocarina of Time, so the gold cartridge, yep. Yep. fully boxed for fifty pounds in the UK, and um, which was quite a fortunate find. In my nice, opinion, nice. I've so, is this your sort of your best piece? In your collection, or, so or your favourite? I'd say my NES collection is one of my best because oh, okay. I collected all the Game Boys, NES, and all their cons besides wow. Game and Watch. And you've got them all at your house. Yeah, I've got. Where do you live? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, we'll, we'll talk later. Yeah, yeah we'll talk later. But, um, yeah, I've got a collection of stuff. Like my um, NES collection consists of Zelda one and two boxed. 
Wow, see, so another Nintendo fan. Is, w CGBC is the. Well, I mean, re Nintendo retro fans, yeah, especially, yeah. Well, yeah. Nintendo's a great company and they, they bring out some great stuff. Yeah, if you play the old games, they still are. Yeah. They still are a great company. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the way no, they do great. it. Thank, yeah, you thank you very much. Because, that. That. yeah, like I said, I did see the competition and I. Uh, and uh, we got our friend here. He's been waiting for a while. Yep. Oh, he's taking the mic. Yeah. Oh. Now, I think I've got something decidedly more retro than anything I've seen, at least today. And oh. that is... Oh, nice. Very nice. Uh, there's the Epic. It is the Epics. Oh, that, that's all. These are parts and hint books from an old Commodore Amiga computer. Oh, Commodore Amiga oh, computer. About 30 or so, almost 30 years old, maybe. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure well. of the age. Give or take. Amiga and 500, was it? Uh, not 100 percent sure. I do have the entire system, but if anybody's ever worked with an Amiga, they are the bulkiest things you will ever see. Yeah, um, just, just for Dale, uh, wasn't the Atari much better than the Amiga? Uh, I was always an Amiga fan, so that's okay, what I all right, all right, get now, in. Okay, thank you very much. We'll whoa, go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> now, I made sure to bring in this whoa. book especially because it's an Aussie-made one. Something from the Aussie community. This is sort of walkthroughs before you had the internet to help you. Games like Monkey Island and stuff were played using these as your yep. guide. Actually, um, funny you should say that. I finished Monkey Island, uh, the release on the XBLA, by using the <laughs> walkthrough in these books. So. This is the old uh, joystick they had for certain games, or most games. Yeah. Only uh, one joystick, one button. It seems to have a octagonal gate, so if anybody's used the GameCube controllers, how they have the eight parts cut out of it, it's very much like that, but internal. It is a bit clunky, however. The old mouse. The old mouse, wow. pretty standard. However, a couple of things that are different today's mice. They don't have the scroll wheel on them. They're trackball based. Uh, <laughs> and they have a different end, which is not used today. Can I look? Yep. Yeah, and that's the same that, like I said before, Atari, mm. uh, uh, Commodore, and mm, yeah, Mega Drive. Another um, interesting thing about the Amiga, which varies from other computers, is most of the actual hardware, so it's processor, RAM, whatever, all stored in the keyboard. So instead of having it in a box or the screen, as say Macs do, and boxes as PC do, it was all in your keyboard, which made the key keyboard a bit heavy and a bit wildy, but it was still yeah. a very, very good very console good. for its I th time. I think you just made friends with Paul. <laughs> Because uh, Paul, Paul, I call the Amiga God because he's got like the biggest Amiga collection I've ever seen. Well, I've got quite a few games still. I still have original copies of both mo the first two Monkey Islands and Mortal Kombat as well as some others. I remember I was quite fond of a Thomas the Tank Engine game when I was a young kid. Nice. Long ago. Long ago. Long ago. <laughs> probably, probably over 10 years ago or something. Wow. Maybe. So you've got Quest 12. for Clues 2. Th I've got 1, 2, 3. He's got 2, 3. That's nice. I've got one at home, but I couldn't find it. Which I actually got from Paul, by the way. So yeah. thank you very much. Yep. Thank so you for showing that. Thank no, you very much for bringing those so. in. Um, now, because no. of your Amiga love and you still got all that, if you want to go to the AV desk later, they Jerry. will adopt you probably. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, we, we, we had some guy come up with his uh, Amiga game. Uh, so what have you got for us? Sierra games. Now Sierra, they did a lot of games in the in the past. So uh, come around, let's see what you got for us here. Because now, let's let's start with the kid-friendly ones first. Which one? Oh, that one. Yep. Space Quest Two. These Familiar? are three D mm -hmm. animated adventure games that came out on Sierra. Yep. Uh, the Atari ST and Amiga nice. and PC. Nice. Very good. And yeah. you've got what versions? Uh, I've got the Atari ST Of course, version. got the best version. All, all three. Atari. All three, yep. yep. And no. then it came with the, well, there was Space Quest 1, this is 2, 3, and Manhunter New York. Nice, very nice. And um, have you got any more? of uh, Like this is a sample, I take it? You got yep. more at home? Yep. Nice. And, yep. uh, and they're, type, uh, they're typing-based adventure games. Yeah, very good. Yeah, that's yeah. another thing. Yeah, you have to type, yeah. Uh, open door. The, open the door or Look, get object. examine. Look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now this is a, you know, back in the old days here, we didn't have the graphics, so you just typed in what you liked, yep. and uh, hopefully and you understood what you meant. Well, exactly. you had to be a good speller as well, because if you couldn't true. spell, <laughs> and I think the text spelling wouldn't work for exactly. the kids today. So <laughs> That's true. Yeah, no, that, that's very nice. Um, they're also remaking, um, remaking Leisure Suit Larry. Yeah. They, from they, Kickstarter, like say, yeah. So, yeah, they're um, trying so yeah. to make these old games come back. So, uh, what, why did why, you bring these up for us today? Because, you know, 
uh, do these have a special place in your heart? Why do you, why did you want to show this yeah, off? I quite enjoyed playing them when I was a teenager. So you picked these up when they were new? Uh, second hand, these oh. ones, but that's a new one. Yeah, you got this uh, new. These are second hand yeah. from Cashies. <laughs> second hand from Cashies, there you go. So yeah, that's, like I said, if you want to look for the things, check out the uh, y your pawn shops or your, uh, that's P A W N. Yep. P A W N shops and uh, cash converters, you can find a lot of, like I said, some old yep. classics in there. Yeah, and made, eBay. made eBay. by yeah eBay's or made by Sierra. By Sierra, which they made a lot of games. A, a lot of great time. games. Um, uh, unfortunately, the they they no longer they're no longer with us uh, presently. Started in 1980 yeah. with the, these games. Yeah, they've gone up to the heavenly version of Silicon Valley. That's it. And uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, if if you if you Sierra is a great company. They brought out great games. Uh, and uh, if you want to know, if you're actually interested in finding out what happened to the company and stuff, there was a great uh, podcast by Console Domination, their old school podcast number four. Uh, and they had a former employee of the company. So I suggest you uh, download that and check it out. Cool. Well, thank you very much, Jerry. Oh, look, someone's got, someone looks like they've got something that we might be interested in. Please, please. Oh. Okay. So okay. Today, wow. I have something that is both weird and retro. Here wow. we have a 1984 Yugoslavian Galaxia personal computer. <laughs> Thank you, comrade. That was a uh, wow. W wow. Wow. Now, um, I'm actually going to be doing a presentation of this later in the week. Beautiful. Where's that? On, on here? Main stage? Uh, or? Probably a rotunda. Rotunda? I'll nice. keep you notified. All yep. right. We're going to cancel our things when I see yep. the presentation. So uh, this actually started out uh, because of the import taxes of Yugoslavia at the time. Uh, no Commodore 64s or any other popular uh, machines were available at the time. So a bunch of hobbyists took it upon themselves to create their own. And so, published in a magazine in January were all the schematics, drawings, code. Nice. What year? Uh, 1984. 84. Wow. Is it code or just weird something? What is it? Um, I think it's, it was based around a 64. It runs on a Z80 <laughs> processor. However, a lot of the programming and the circuitry inside is all pretty much custom design. Right, yeah. No, because I saw recently on um, over Twitter there was a guy that posted, and again, someone from Yugoslavia made a, a Morse code um, device for the Commodore 64, and they rewrote that, and I'm trying to find it, but yeah, no, no chance. This, this is amazing. Can you please tell us where, where you got this? Um, well, when my father was young, um, it came out, obviously, and him and his friends, uh, being hobbyists at the time, decided yep. to buy uh, two printed circuit boards and keyboard sets. Right. So they created one, but never got around to finishing the second one. Wow. So many years down the track, my father decided, he, telling me about his uh, story, he actually found that he had one left over back at home, and we were able to get it here and build it together. Nice. Was that the second one that was not big? Yep. And you built it yep. as, as a team? Yep. Wow, that's fantastic. That is fantastic. Yeah, I've never seen one. What is this thing worth, and would you sell it? Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I guess value is... An item is worth whatever the person yeah, is willing to pay for it. Yeah, and the sentimental value would probably be huge for... Yeah. yeah. Wow, that, uh, that is... How many computers do you need to varnish? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just, sand. I, um, I, what was the... What did they actually call it in Serbo-Croatian? Uh, what was... Galaxia. Galaxia, just yeah. a Galaxia. Wow. So that's Galaxy. <laughs> wow. That is, that is amazing. Uh, a lot of the Eastern Bloc that we're doing, uh, particularly like the Yugoslavia, Poland, and the old Czechoslovakia, we're big into, um, big into this. So, But tracking down and finding something like this is just, that's just amazing. That's beautiful. Thank that you very is. much. Thank you. And you're right, actually, weed and retro. <laughs> Thank you. Has anybody, five more minutes? Okay, we got the thing. Yeah, we got a gentleman Oops. just here. Please, let's see. Come on up. Let's see what you got for us. I didn't actually know this is on. I would have brought me Tommy Tommy Tronic stuff and Commodore stuff. But would have been, would have been guys, but yeah. what do you have for us here? Well, I've only got some uh, GBA games. Okay, so you got some old. Oh. Is there anything here that's uh, Tactics Ogre? Tactics Ogre. No, I haven't seen that. Uh, from the US. Yep. Yeah, Advance Wars 2. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Advance Advance Wars. Advance Wars. Uh, Breath of Fire 2. <laughs> Obviously, like your uh, 
tactics RPG, so... Yeah, game and watch Garley, of course. Very good. Um, Iridian 3D. Yep. Oh, hang on, hang on. Yep. Fire Emblem. Nice. Make sure you get that one back. Nice. Golden Sun. Yeah, I like that. See, obviously, these, these have been played, so you obviously yeah. enjoy them, not just buy them to hold on to. I'm trying to play them. <laughs> <laughs> Advanced War Tactics. Uh, Sable Wolf. Were these all original, uh, individual purchases? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it wasn't just a bulk lot no. buy. Gunstar Heroes, Future Heroes. Oh, Gunstar Heroes, yeah. great game. Yeah, Anyone got, familiar with yeah. it? I got that one box. Yeah, great game. Yeah, box, almost brand new, but I just put the cartridge in. Fire Emblem. Not sure if that might be a pirate one. Um, Castlevania Double Pack. Wow. Uh, Vikings. Is it Cursed Vikings thing? Choo Choo Rocket. <laughs> it's a GBA title. And Shining Force. Uh, there's some nice, yeah, there's some nice games there. Like I said, nice. We'll I'll leave like them the here. We'll try and get them all back to you, but I might, I might be playing a few <laughs> tonight, so we'll have a look. Because, yeah, like I said, it that's great. Up my own heart. That's okay, what I'm and I think, um, I think we, um, we'll finish off with maybe Oz's. Right. Ah, yeah. Let's, uh, he, he's not here with us, but uh, he's not dead. Don't get me he's wrong. Not, no, no, he's, he's, he's still... Just, he just couldn't be here. We hope. We I'll hope. Go grab, I'll go grab his, his thing. Yeah, so we'll, uh, one of our... Another fan of the show, he, um, he brought something for us. Unfortunately, he had to go. Um, but we'll just show you what he has. So the presentation, I think, is already great. It comes in yep. a Space Invaders uh, Thank satchel. Much. Thank yep. you, mate. Yeah, and um, he also came dressed for the part as well with a nice old-school blue Sonic T-shirt. But we've got one thing in here... Because yeah. Does anyone know what this is? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. They're, they're all little babies. Now, before CDs, before MP3s, there was a little thing called a record. Now, uh, <laughs> vinyl. Vinyl. Now, these, you know, the, the licorice plate had music on it. Yeah. Now, what we got here is it's a, it's a fan. You know, we, we think now that, uh, you know, video games have come into popular culture and stuff, but uh, we have a song here called Space Invaders. How does it go? Space and bait. We got oh, a fan oh out there. wow, nice. Ooh. Someone in the audience likes it. <laughs> so you obviously know it, but yeah, like I said, this is a fan made, like, yeah, that, there was no copyright on it. They yep. just made a song about Space Invaders. Yep, very now, nice. For me personally, I think that's weird and retro. That is weird. Not as weird and retro as that. <laughs> and uh, I think I can speak for both of us. Coming from old Yugoslavia, that's even a. Uh, that's I mean, that's, that, that's, that's the highlight. That's, that's, that, that is. Nice. Is he still around, or can we take that? Oh, he's still here. <laughs> That's all right. No, thank you very much for ringing in. Uh, <laughs> but thank you very much, guys. Like thank said, you very if you've much. If you got something, like I said, during the week, come, come up and show it to us. You know, we always yep. like... Uh, and we'll see. If we've got time, maybe we'll do something else like this. Um, but now, to finish off, uh, we got, we're looking for, uh, for a clip for our online stuff. So if we can uh, just get everyone to scream out, and we're going to introduce this in a title sequence. So just weird and retro, and then we'll... Uh, Edit that and cut it out. All right, ready? On three. One, two, three. Weird and retro. Wow, how's that? That was oh, terrible. That was that terrible. Was ter I think we'll have to do no, it again no, we'll, later on the week. We'll do one more time, oh, one more but just time. separate it. So weird and... But with more. With more. With ready? More heart, with three, heart. two, one. Weird and retro. I like that one. I like that. That was well, very good. Thank you very much, shot. guys. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And if there's anything you want to know about them, you can just ask us about them during the week. Thank you, guys. Cheers.